So in .NET 8, we can use static server-side rendering, which is a really neat way for pages like this, which is just a product details page of rendering a components on the server and then returning static HTML to the browser. But what about when we want to interact with our components? Well, you could think, oh, you know, use Blazor Server or Blazor WebAssembly. But even with static server-side rendering, we can get some interactivity by using forms. So here, for example, I've got a form, which is the Add to Cart form. And the idea is that when someone clicks this button, it's going to add the item to the cart and then show them how many they've got in their cart underneath. Now, this is working. So if I click that, you can see that that's gone up to two in the cart. And in terms of how that's implemented, well, it's just a form. So we have a form here in our code. This is going to be a post, and it's got a name, which is important for this to work with Blazor. And then when we submit, we're going to call this add to cart method. In terms of the UI itself, we've got a bit of logic here that we'll look at in a moment. But if we look at that add to cart method, what you'll notice we're doing here is we're adding it to the cart, and then we're setting this Boolean, adding cart to true. We're then delaying for a second before we set that Boolean to false. And then we're just doing an optimistic update of the quantity and cart field just so that we can update the UI very quickly and say, there's this number now in the cart. But what you'll notice is when we click the Add to Cart button, what we're not seeing is any kind of UI to reflect this state that we're obviously interested in where we're setting a Boolean to true and then we're setting the Boolean to false after a delay. And if you look at our markup here, it seems like we are expecting to see different UIs. So if the Adding to Cart Boolean is set to true, we should see a loader. And once that's false again, we should see our Add to Cart button. So the one thing is that we're not seeing that reflected in the UI. And then there's another problem we've got here with this form currently, which is that if I switch it into responsive mode and just scroll down to the bottom here, when I click this button, it's going to bump me right back up to the top of the page when I submit the form. So that's doing a full form post to the server, getting a document back with HTML, and then loading the whole document in the browser so you lose your scroll position. So we can solve both of those problems with Blazor in .NET 8. And the first one, scroll position, is quite easy. We can just enable something called enhanced navigation. So enhanced navigation for forms, which we have to opt into, will replace the document request we had before with a fetch request. So if I now click on my button here, you'll notice this is now a fetch request instead of a full document request. And then what Blazor will do is it will patch the DOM with the new information. So we click the button, does a fetch request, we get new HTML back, which includes the rendered HTML for the number in the cart, and it will patch the DOM with that new HTML. But we still aren't seeing our intermediate state of the loading indicator. So how do we solve that? So stream rendering is a useful way of returning multiple states of the component that you're rendering in one response stream. So with this enabled, we should see our intermediate states from our add to cart method all in the same response. So how does this work? Well, if we now click the button, we get the loading indicator. And if we look at the actual request here and look at the waterfall for that request, what we'll notice is that just as with streaming rendering for things like loading indicators, we get a very fast initial response. Over a period of one second, our intermediate states where we're delaying and then setting a Boolean and the components re-rendering and then we're setting the Boolean to false and the components re-rendering again. Every time we do that re-rendering on the server, the new HTML is streamed back to the browser and then Blazor in the browser patches the DOM with the new HTML. So the result is that we get a really nice responsive user interface. We're seeing a loading indicator when they click the Add to Cart button. We're not losing our scroll position, but we're still using static server-side rendering just with a little bit of enhancement from Blazor with its blazor.web.js file running in the browser to smooth the edges and to give us a more spa-like user experience.